Hello, YouTube family, and welcome back. Yes, welcome back, and happy Friday. Yes, I'm off, and yes, it's a family affair. So you'll get several videos from me throughout the day, because like I said, I took a personal day. I'm off. I'm having fun. I'm relaxing, and I'm on YouTube, okay? And once again, thank you for all your support you have shown me, all your love, all your comments, all your interactions. Love it, love it, love it. And I thank you for and continue to continue to subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Let's blow up together. But let me pour this hot coffee for you. Thank you for coming by the home and want to take your lunch break with me. Or you just got off early. You just want to sip some coffee. Okay. We're going to get on into the story. It was brought out by Atlanta Black Star. None other than my girl over there kicking butt and taking names. Kirsten Willis. She brought a story out on... Dr. Heavenly, yes, okay, Dr. Heavenly. I don't understand. Bravo put this show together for all of these people in medicine, from every facets to family medicine, OBGYN, dentistry, and, you know, the whole gamut. They have a lot of specialties there. But we got this one doctor just running rampant around here. I'm like, damn, she got the mean girl spirit. She went back from her old uh, primary school days post-college days, some high school, and she still got that ugly spirit in it, in her, okay? She was kind of heavy on the heavy side. Then she dropped weight because she said daddy, which is her husband, wanted her to drop the weight. She didn't really do it for herself. She started in the intentions of doing it for him. So that was a no-no already. But is she mad at Mariah? Cause Mariah was clowning her, saying she had receipts on her husband, cheating on her. And was he cheating with somebody a little bit lighter than her, you know? Was he cheating for one? And then again, was he cheating with somebody of a lighter complexion? I don't know, but Mariah was dropping tea. But anyway, we're going to go on to this story. We ain't going to tear it too long because we got several videos to do. All right. Uh, Kirsten Willis over at Atlanta Black Star titled this particular article, I Call Bullshit. All right. Married to Medicine. Uh, fans don't buy Dr. Heavenly saying she misspoke on Mariah Hughes alleged drug use. Okay, now see that's what I'm talking about. How can a doctor sit there and put on a doctor's wife? You know, because they're both doctors. He's in one profession, she's in another. But you're clowning your colleague's wife. Okay, you're trying to put dirt on her name. And when you're talking about alleged drug substance abuse use, yes, that's kind of a heavy offense to be trying to throw just because you mad because Mariah had said, uh, or how in your words, misspoke. <laughs> That your husband, mean not having the husbands, was cheating on her behind closed doors. Okay, I don't understand. It. Make it make sense. But anyway, we move on into the story. It says Sunday night episode of Married to Medicine, which I did cover. I hope y'all all checked that out. All right, give me the thumbs up, or if you had to give me the thumbs down, okay, cool. Okay, because I let y'all speak y'all mind. I let you do it. Oh yes, I do on my platform because I believe everybody should speak their mind. But I caution for people to be respectful for and not use the cuss words. So y'all have definitely been, um, what do you call it, paying attention to what I was saying and y'all are definitely being respectful. All right, so y'all continue to go and get in the comments, interact with each other, see each other's point of view or perspective and take it and think on it and see if they really had something true to fact to offer to the conversation. Okay, that's what y'all supposed to do. Make nice, all right? But speak your mind at the same time. Just do it respectfully. But going back on to the article, it says, uh, uh, you know, regarding Sunday night's episode previous, um, you saw Tanya Toya Bush Harris shut down Quads Webb's claims that Mariah um, had done drugs. But it was some remarks from Dr. Hemley, uh that had fans talking. I know because Toya, we love her. We love her antics. We love how she just get on into the dirt and make it salacious, okay? It may look like one thing, but when Toya put her spin on it, put her ideas on it, it turns up to a whole explosion. And we were like, thank you, Toya. <laughs> thank you, Toya, because Toya's the kind where she's not being really steadfast on tearing somebody down and making sure they stay there. You know what I'm saying? She's like the underdog, and I appreciate that. Sometimes I don't like what she gives me, and I have to speak on it, but for 
you know, well around the person. I think she's pretty solid. She's gonna call a spade a spade, just like me, just like your girl over here, Del Chanel. Okay, but anyway, moving on. Uh, it says during the episode, Bush Harris told Way Up that. Uh, Mariah had obtained an extensive drug test by submitting a sizable hair sample to a lab. Okay. Despite Bush Harris explaining the test showed no drugs used by Mariah dating back to five to 10 years. Okay. Uh, but, but again, Quad deemed the test inconclusive. I'm like, well, wait a minute. Quad, wait a minute. Quad, when did you go to med school? Or did, when did you become a scientist to even debunk or defute their uh, test results? Okay. Do you really think somebody went in there tampering with the evidence or whatnot? Do you really think anybody cared enough to do that? All right. Girl, that's some Secret Service assassination type of work you talking about, Quad. <laughs> And I don't think you're built for that life, okay? You have to have a certain personality, a certain IQ, and a certain dehumanizing type of demeanor to fit up there with being an assassin, okay? Anyway, um, Quart deemed it as inconclusive and defended her accusation during the season six reunion that she saw Mariah snort cocaine. The powder, the Mary Jane, and my Rick James voice. Okay, but anyway, Kynes later, uh, Doctor Heavenly later signed off in front of the cast and, ex and exclaimed or explained, "I believe her. I really do." When it came to Marie, uh, I'm sorry, Mariah's alleged drug use, the admission led Mariah to burst into tears, overwhelmed by what she said were her co-stars' lies. And I'm I'm there with it. I show sure am there with it because. You know, Quad and Mariah have been feuding for the longest. Now, how Dr. Heavenly got into the mix, I'm still trying to play catch up. But I think it's mainly because and only because Mariah had said she had receipts. Yes, receipts she could pull off her phone, probably her email or whatever, and show you that, yes, in fact, uh, Dr. Heavenly's husband at some point during their marriage had cheated. Okay. And she said she got proof. But anyway, moving on to that, that's my belief of why Dr. Heavenly does not like or care for Mariah. Uh, Mariah. So she's definitely going to hit her with verbalness and any other un unorthodox or unfounded allegations. All right. Even as hard as the one if you're trying to say she does substance abuse. Okay. But anyway, we go back into the article. It says, y'all know I ain't never did no damn drugs. This is Mariah declared of the horrible way way up slandered my name. But on Twitter Monday night, Dr. Heavenly said the opposite of what she had declared on the bus ride in Savannah, Georgia during the show. Y'all all saw that. If you didn't catch my video, it goes in to tell or uh, 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 we call it, allude to that Dr. Heavenly did personally agree with what was being said about uh, Mariah using drugs. And uh, like I said, uh, What's her name? Dr. Heavenly was basically just saying it out of spite. Because she know her husband probably cheated. And when a head dog will holler or a female dog will come out and try to, uh, you know, uh, prove the difference, then you know something going wrong. Because anybody in my age group, we ain't got to prove nothing to nobody. Unless the judge say provide proof, then I have to do what the judge say. And then I'll probably be questioning the judge. Like, judge, why you in there? Why you in this? I didn't bring this to your court. This other person brought it to your court. So I'm just oblig obliging you by showing up because I don't want you to put the law on me and force me to come up in here and then put me in the contempt situation, put me in jail for a couple of days or maybe a couple of hours. Okay, to show you got rule you boss when it comes to the law and i have to pay attention okay but i'll be questioning the judge judge do you really need to have this frivolous case uh presided on really don't you have better time to be spent like on murder charges or or, or abuse charges stuff of that nature that's what i would have been saying to the um the judge i mean i have said and spoke you know to the judge before on other matters and yes i had to question the judge why are we here okay but that's just my life that's how i got down in one of you know, one of the cases I had one time, it wasn't nothing really brought to me. I was asked to be a witness, but I did speak my mind. I'm like, we have a better, we, we can do better, okay? I don't need to be here for this, but since I'm here, I'm here, okay? Let me speak my truth. But I got off content. I got off character. Let me go on back. I try to make a comparison, but we're going to leave that down. All right, but anyway, we go back to where, uh, yeah, uh, she made a comparison on the, um, the bus ride 
why they were uh, call themselves celebrating their revival of their relationships with one another. And uh, Dr. Heavenly did speak out a term and speak up, spoke out of anger and said, yes, I, yeah, I believe, I believe, I believe, Quad, when she said yes. She did do drugs. And right now, they're trying to put it on the show that her and Quad has some type of relationship as a friendship. So I can see why Dr. Heavenly is there trying to defend Quad and her unfounded uh, information that she's putting out from these streets. Okay, it's more of a public opinion in Quad's mind than it is a definite fact. <laughs> and she can give receipts to the fact. All right, but going back to the article, it said, let me be clear. I've never seen anyone do drugs. I don't think anyone does drugs. I just think some people lie about other things, marriage to medicine. Team. See, you're wrong. It's people out there that do do drugs, Dr. Heavenly. Some, they do it for recreational. Some, they do it because they don't got what we call it hooked. Okay, somebody had to start somewhere with drugs. Sometimes it starts with alcohol. Sometimes it starts with marijuana. And it just goes into the bigger scheme of deadly type drugs. Okay, so don't ever say, I don't think anyone does drugs. Yeah, they do do drugs. Now, your counterpart, your colleagues, your co-workers on the show, I you know, you might not want to speak on that unless you truly know, but it just is what it is. So, Dr. Heaven, you're still making a fool like yourself. Okay, maybe you just need to stick to just dentistry, okay? Because logic are not being founded on your statements or when you're shown on public television on a platform that Bravo has provided for you. You're almost looking like an angry black woman running around now falsifying lies and, and telling untruths just to be relevant and keep your seat on merit to medicine. That's just my belief. That's my view. I may come back and review it a different time as she grows, as I grow. But right now, now I'm seeing like you're very thirsty. And it seems like your career as a doctor in medicine should promote you not to be on said show showing this type of antics. Okay, but that's just that's my belief, my truth. Okay, moving on. Back to the article, it said, uh, that prompted a fan to ask, you said you believe Quad, so what was your comment then? Okay, and then it's on the Twitter account. If you go to Dr. Heavenly's page, I'm sure you'll see it. Um, and they have a little banter with one another. But go on Dr. He Heavenly's Twitter page. You should catch it if it's still there. She hadn't deleted it. But anyway, we go back and it says, but Dr. Heavenly replied by explaining her anger got the best of her. So see, you see, it was anger. People got to stop doing that. Think re before you react. Think about the consequences that will come back full circle, karma-wise. Think, people. Think, think, think. You better think, think. What you trying to do to me? Yeah, think, think, think. Let your help be free. You need me. That's Aretha Franklin. Y'all get into it. Woo. Okay. A lot of hair there. Uh, But anyway, I was talking to my daughter. She showed me after she let her hair down from her braids. And she, ooh, she looking like a whole. She said she looked like a lion. Maybe I put her video. Maybe I put a picture of her video in there so y'all can see what I see. Cause Lord is a hot mess. Okay. Well, I don't know. I might throw that in there. Okay. That'll be a surprise. But anyway, we go back to the story. It's like take a picture of yourself, Johnson. I was angry. Okay, I was angry. I misspoke. I thought about it. I don't know what's true or not. So see, you can't. Ooh, I might tell my doc, my 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 brother, stop going to Doctor Heavily. Because she's speaking on truth and then she want to retract shit. No, you're a doctor. You know better. You took an oath to do no harm to anybody. Okay? And if you're a Christian, you don't supposed to be doing harm like this. Okay? Speaking out of term when it has nothing to do with you. You just have a lot of anger issues. I really think you need to get, see some counsel, Dr. Heavenly. And then we'll visit you maybe in a couple of months to see what you're doing, how you're family, or you're you still the same person. Because if you think, you got to think about them little ones under you. They see how their mama react. They see how she was kind of heavy at one time. She was mean. And I understand the meanness when you're heavy. You're trying to prove to people that you're you're kind, you're nice, and they're just looking at your weight. Damn, Dr. Heavenly, you don't slam down. And you still keeping that mean girl attitude, spirit about you. What is that showing to you? Your daughter, is she gonna cut up like this? Woo! The apple don't fall far from the tree. I'm telling you, woo! Dr. Heaven, do better, do better, do better. Okay, because you're gonna be right, you're gonna be living through your uh, little girls vicariously, and you're gonna see a lot of mean spot, spots in her. And then you're gonna think, where did she get that spirit from? Mm, 
that apple don't fall too far from the tree. So you better straighten up, Dr. Heaven. You better straighten up to get yourself right. You better straighten up to get yourself tight. Okay, that was just me again. Okay. Anyway, it says, however, fans of American Medicine did not exactly buy that. Okay. They said, too late. You already spoke on it, sis. Now the bullfrog want to buy. Now the bullfrog want to backpedal and buy. Okay. Now I'm with them. We ain't backpedaling. That's why we say you got to stay in shit. You say shit. You come on back and say, yeah, I said, I'm sorry. Move on. Okay. But don't say, no, I misspoke. I didn't know what I was saying. Yes, you did. You were uh, being forced and uh, pressing uh pressing the point so fast because you were angry instead of you making decisions when you're calm cool and collected which would be better for you 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 make decisions say things when you definitely know you know you shouldn't have been doing it in the first get go but anyway moving back it says too late you already spoke backpedaling no say that you already spoke loudly that you believe something that you never saw with your own eyes, I couldn't trust someone like you as a professional. See, I had just said that. Yeah, I got to show my brother this whole article because he don't get down like that. He don't get too much into, you know, uh, what do you call it, a sitcoms such as this. He's more of a sports fanatic, uh, and he looks at Shark Tank. He likes shit like that, and um, with b- biblical station. So I got to give him this piece of tea. But anyway, on his dentistry a dentist to be okay because i think she did a little few uh she pulled his teeth or something like that and tried to pay these outrageous prices talking about a crown and all this stuff see girl in her earlier years i used to be a dental assistant i know how they get down because you know these bridges and these crowns they're gonna not be good after a certain period of time you got to go back in and repeat the same process or guess what you're gonna have to end up pulling them out and getting dentures so my deal is get the dentures first okay save you a lot of heartache save you a lot of time still have the same smile okay all right moving on it says dr heavlin you need to shut up your mashed potato mouth sometimes this show this show was filmed damn near a year ago and she's just not having a relevant relevant oh a revelation i call bullshit still not everyone was was against the dentist well good for heavenly for saying that no that ain't good okay but anyway uh it's okay portia bleed phaedra and the whole time she played her friend it happens now Portia is a different case. She was much, she's much younger. She was much younger then, and she was definitely naive, okay? Because she was talking about the Underground Railroad was still in existence to this day. She actually thought it was a railroad track, wherever she was, <laughs> in her mind of thinking. So now we're going to compare Dr. Heavenly to Dr. I mean, we're not going to compare Portia to Dr. Heavenly and their mistakes. There's no comparison. One knew fully better. One was more educated. And one has been in the world a lot longer than Portia Williams. So we ain't going to, nah, we ain't going to go there. We ain't going to go there. We ain't going to even give Dr. Heavenly that bone, that olive branch. No, she knew better. She needed to have done better. But anyway, moving back to the article, said, well, at least she admitted she's wrong. Let's not act like we've never been in a situation where we defended our friends or family, even if they were wrong. Heavenly was talking, was taking just, wait a minute, she was talking just to be talking. Okay, meanwhile, uh, Mariah took the Instagram to state she had already taken drug tests that proved she was clean. That's what's so bad about it. I have already posted the results before they filmed that messy blog. I had taken three tests and they still would perpetuate that foolery. Very insulting. Very insulting. I'm right there with Mariah. Yes, I am. She's the queen, honey. She's the queen on her castle. And I'm saying speaking for her own thoughts of she being a queen and she's on her pedestal because everybody can be on their queenness, okay? They can put themselves high as they want them to be, okay? Because there ain't number one person that can definitely judge you and he has the final say because he created you, okay? I'm just saying, all right. But, uh, yeah, Dr. Heavenly needs to sit her butt down. Evidently, dentistry and the world of medicine hadn't really taught her anything but just a means to an end and for her to live the life as a uh, doctor of dentistry, okay, but it seems like all these professional people seem the entertainment life pays a lot better and is more lucrative than their own chosen professional, well, uh, what do you call it, good demeanor type jobs. They they go and rush into the entertainment field quick as they can get there. As, as possible and then they all tried and true job that's there to help commu- help the community maybe 
help them in being good, better people, you know, and the oath that they took a long time ago about doing no harm. But you doing more harm than you are than working in people's mouths, following on these entertainment streets and trying to watch out for who you can find your dad. You have a one daddy, okay? Your daddy is your daddy who is bi biological biologically helped you get into this world, okay? Not your uh, husband, okay? He's supposed to be your provider, yes. And he's supposed to provide and be your children's daddy. But this whole zaddy, this whole daddy thing, that that's makes me get, ooh, it makes me want to throw up and regurgitate. Okay, just throw it up. All right, just throw it all up. That's some bullshit right there. Women going around here calling their daddy daddies. Oh, my goodness. No, he is your helpmate as you are his, and y'all supposed to be one, okay? Not, oh, but let me get off that. That's not even here nor there, but I'm ending this video, guys. Guys, uh, gotta do something real quick while with my daughter somewhere, then I'll be back bringing you more headlines and another updated story that talks about Mariah and Dr. Heavenly, and she calling her, or she's recanting her story that she put out there on last episode about Mariah was doing drugs, okay, which we all knew that wasn't true, and we, if those had eyes to see and ears to hear, you should have known that wasn't true, that was just uh, Dr. Hamlin acting angrily out on somebody who says that her husband is cheating, okay, now that's what I'm saying, that's what she need to be dealing with, that accusation, and not these other accusations that these other women, that her and Quad are out there having, let her and Quad have their beef, okay, you don't get no way in there, unless you're name is brought into it then you have to question why your name is brought into it all right but anyway y'all have a great day have a great afternoon and i'll see you for the next video bye bye